And the CDC says more than 3 million middle and high school students use tobacco and e-cigarettes are the most popular tobacco product according to a survey of middle and high school students. In December, a statewide ban went into effect suspending the sale of most flavored tobacco products here in California, but teens are still using them. We have a 7-Eleven, which we get probably 100 plus uh, uh, teenagers every single day. 100 plus? 100 plus, yeah, to buy all the, the stuff. The ABC7 News I-Team has learned enforcement also continues to be a problem. Yeah, and I-Team reporter Stephanie Sierra is here. What did you find out about this? Well, the ban is very clear. In fact, the state sent out a letter informing retailers of how this new law defines the types of flavored tobacco products that are banned. But we talked with many retailers who say they never got this letter and they're still confused over the rules. So you don't know, for example, if this is legal? As I said, to best of our knowledge, 99.9% .9 I'm confident that it is legal to sell. California's statewide flavored tobacco ban went into effect in late December last year. Oh, one of this? But Sanjiv Patel, the owner of a chain of National Petroleum gas stations, says he's still confused on the rules. We want to follow the law. We don't want to get dinged. Confusion over banned products isn't the only problem. Patel says teens still come in every day trying to buy flavored tobacco products, often using fake IDs. Real looking fake ID. The teenagers know that where they can get it. He has 15 locations across the Bay Area, including Berkeley, Oakland, Union City, Hayward, San Jose, and Sunnyvale. All the tobacco products are behind the counter. Always, yeah. He estimates that some locations see more than 100 teenagers per day, and he says they're persistent. Uh, there are times when we have some uh, employees who said, hey, you know, I've been seeing you like every single day for the last five days. You know I'm not going to sell it to you. And, and sometimes their response is, okay, maybe the next employees will. But his other locations have a stricter reputation. They don't come here because... Yeah, we are very strict. In December, a statewide ban went into effect suspending the sale of most flavored tobacco products to anyone. For non-flavored tobacco products... It must be 21 or older. The new ban comes after a slew of other cities and counties across the state have already implemented similar bans in recent years. San Francisco was one of the first cities to do so back in 2019. According to the California Department of Public Health, this includes menthol cigarettes, electronic cigarettes, e-liquids, e-juices, pods, or any other vape device or tobacco product accessory that contains any flavored liquid, regardless if it contains nicotine. But as we found out, the law isn't exactly clear. For example, the state's special notice to retailers shares what some say is a confusing message. It says the ban includes flavored cigars and flavored smokeless tobacco. But certain flavored premium cigars and flavored loose-leaf pipe tobacco are exempt. There's so much confusion. And it gets more confusing. While the state has implemented its own ban, local cities and counties may have more restrictive laws in place. For example... So these are legal here in Newark? But these are not legal in Hayward. The definition of uh, uh, the sweet versus uh, flavored are, are differently interpreted. The state has created a resource page on their website to help inform retailers of the current tobacco law, including a letter that breaks down how the new law defines prohibited products. Have you been given any direction from the state? None. None whatsoever. <laughs> Turns out Patel isn't alone. The I-Team visited and called dozens of local retailers across the Bay Area to ask if they received this letter or any direction on enforcement from the state. Just had a quick question for you. Have you received this letter from the state advising of the new tobacco law? Yeah, we just got everything out that that's not legal. Did you receive this letter? I haven't seen nobody. You haven't seen anyone from the state? Have you received this letter? the new tobacco law? Uh, Have you sure. received this letter from the state? No. Has any enforcement agency come around to inform you of the rules? Um, the health department come around and do checks? No. All right. No, they haven't given it to me yet. They haven't given you this letter? No. no. 
Okay. Maybe we get one in the mail soon or something. I don't know. Yeah, this was from last year. We spoke with employees at dozens of smoke shops outside San Francisco. The majority told us they didn't receive any direction from the state about the flavored tobacco ban. In some stores, the last directive was posted from 2016. Do they have an updated one for this year? So do you know if it's the health department that's supposed to be doing these checks or have you heard any word? No, I, I seriously, I have no idea. CDPH told the I-team the legislature did not empower them to be the enforcement agency. Instead, local law enforcement agencies have jurisdiction to enforce this law. Each city is so understaffed with police officers now. Is this even their priority? Uh, I don't think so. Amar Jutse Khan is a former retailer and anti-tobacco advocate. This just is not being handled properly. Have you had any agency come to your store to conduct a check or inspection? Uh, not that I know of. It just seems like haphazardly we've banned this product, but nobody knows what we've banned. I have four grandkids that I'm very concerned about. She says her grandkids are able to order flavored tobacco products online without any age verification. And then you can order whatever flavor you want. You just like, okay, I'm gonna heal you. They'll even give you a discount. It took less than two minutes for her son to order a 40 pack of flavored e cigarettes, and it came in two days. My biggest concern is the underground market that's coming, how they can get it online, how the kids can buy the product, you know, off the streets now. We saw that in San Francisco's Mission District. Where do teens normally buy e cigarettes around here? Maybe right there. Over there? The corner. The corner store? Do you guys know where you could find e-cigarettes around here? Yeah. Do they do they card for e-cigarettes? Because I know there's a ban in effect. Do you guys know anything about that? Anyways, do you know anyone? Are you guys in high school? Yes. There's stores in the cities that sell it underground. It's, they'll, they'll sell it out of their trunk. I mean, there's no control. So what's the use of passing something, uh, either a ban or an ordinance, if we know it can't be enforced? Now, coming up tomorrow, we're going to take a closer look at this enforcement problem and show you what stores that appear to still be selling these banned products, some even to teens. Hmm. This is, it feels like an Im impossible problem to solve. The store owners aren't even sure what the rules are, and you can't, ex the police are so short-staffed, they can't be running around chasing down vape cases. Exactly, and you know, they're printing out the rules in some of these stores trying to decipher sweet versus flavored. It's, it's becoming a mess for them. Right, right. and it changes city by city. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right, Steph, Part two tomorrow? You. Part two tomorrow. All right, thank you, Steph.